Al Jami, Al Aqsa Arabic, is one of the main buildings in the southern part of the Al Aqsa Mosque complex with its characteristic grey tin dome. Al Jami, Al Aqsa is often thought of as the Al Aqsa Mosque itself, although in fact the name Al Aqsa Mosque refers to the entire complex in which there are several important buildings, such as Al Jami, Al Aqsa itself, Ash Shakra Dome, Al Marwani Mosque, Al Miraj Dome, the Silsilar Dome, and Nabi's Dome, and other buildings. Al Jami, Al Aqsa was first built during the time of Umar bin Karthab, although some opinions state that this mosque was built during the Umayyad Caliphate. After an earthquake in 746, the mosque was completely destroyed and rebuilt by the Abbasid Caliph al Mansa in 754, and rebuilt by his successor al Mahdi in 780. The next earthquake destroyed most of al Jami, al Aqsa in 1033, but two years later the Caliph Fatimir Ali Azh Shahir rebuilt this mosque, which is still standing today. One. Pre-construction The area of this mosque was part of the expansion of the hill construction by King Herod the Great, which began in 20 BC. Herod ordered the masons to cut the stone faces on the east and south sides of the hill, and overlay them. The remains of these developments can still be found in several locations. When the second temple was still standing, the site where the mosque currently stands was called the Veranda of Solomon, and on each side was a temple storehouse called the Charnuyo, which extended all the way to the south side of the hill. The construction of the large rectangular columns in the northern part of the mosque and its walls has recently been determined to be much older than previously thought by previous researchers based on eyewitness accounts from that period, namely that the construction from the time of Roman rule. The walls were rebuilt or strengthened shortly after the destruction of Jerusalem in AD 70. The underground structure of this building dates back to the time the Jews returned from the Babylonian exile, which is 2,300 years ago. The political situation has made further excavation in the area impossible. When an earthquake in the 1930s damaged this mosque, dating of some parts made of wood was carried out, indicating the period of 900 BC. The woods are cypress, a type of fir, and acacia. The latter type according to the Bible was used by King Solomon in the construction of his buildings on the hill in about 900 BC. Along with the temple, the existing Charnuyo was destroyed by the attack of the Roman Emperor Titus, then a general, in 70. Emperor Justinian built a Christian church on this site in the 530s, dedicated to the Virgin Mary and named the Church of the Mother of God. We. The church was later demolished by the Sassanid Emperor Khosrau II in the early 7th century, leaving it in ruins. Two. Umayyad building There are several opinions regarding the time al Jami, al Aqsa was first built. The most famous opinion is that al Jami, al Aqsa is the place where Umar bin Karthab performed congregational prayers during his visit to Jerusalem and Umar also ordered the construction of the building. Some other opinions state that this building was built during the reign of the Umayyad Caliphate while other opinions state that the building was originally built by Umar and then rebuilt during the Umayyad Caliphate. Referring to the testimony of Arkulf, a Gaul monk who made a pilgrimage to Palestine in 679-82, architectural historian Sir Archibald Cresswell argues that Umar bin Karthab may have been the first to erect a primitive rectangular building with a capacity for 3,000 worshippers somewhere in the Al-Masjid complex. Aqsa called the Temple Mount complex by the Jews. However, there is also an opinion that it was Muawiyah who might actually have ordered the construction and not Umar. This latter opinion is supported by the writings of the early Jerusalem scholar al-Mataha bin Tahir al-Makdisi. 
Analysis of panels and beams taken from the building during renovations in the 1930s indicates that the logs were Lebanese cedar and cypress. Radiocarbon dating shows varying ages, some as old as the 9th century BC, indicating that some of the wood had previously been used in older buildings. Three. Damaged by the earthquake in 746, Al-Jami, Al-Aqsa was damaged by an earthquake, which is four years before Abul Abbas as Safa overthrew the Umayyads and established the Abbasid Caliphate. The second Abbasid Caliph Abu Jafar al-Mansur in 753 declared his intention to repair the mosque. He ordered that the gold and silver plates covering the gates of the mosque be removed and minted into dinars and dirhams to finance reconstruction activities, which were completed in 771. The second earthquake that occurred in 774 later damaged most of Al-Mansi's repairs, except for repairs on south of the mosque. In 780, the next caliph Muhammad al-Mahdi rebuilt it, but he reduced its length and increased its width. Al-Mahdi's renovation is the first known renovation to have written records describing it. In 985, a Jerusalem-born Arab geographer named al-Makdisi noted that the renovated mosque had 15 arches and 15 gates. In 1033 another earthquake occurred, which greatly damaged the mosque. Between 1034 and 1036, the Fatimid Caliph Ali Azh Shahir rebuilt and completely renovated the mosque. The number of arches was drastically reduced from 15 to 7. Azh Shahir built four arcades for the central hall and hallway, which currently serve as the foundation of the mosque. The central hall was double the width of the other aisles, and had the end of a large roof over which a wooden dome was built. 4. Modern times The first renovations in the 20th century were carried out in 1922, after the Jerusalem Islamic High Council under the leadership of Amin al-Husseini hired Ahmet Kemaletan Bey, a Turkish architect, to restore al-Jami, al-Aqsa and the surrounding monuments. The council also commissioned British architects, Egyptian experts, and local officials to participate in and oversee the repairs carried out in 1924-25 under Kemaletan's supervision. The renovations included strengthening the ancient foundations of the Umayyad Mosque, repairing the interior columns, replacing beams, erecting scaffolding, maintaining the arches and the interior of the dome, rebuilding the south wall, and replacing the wooden pillars in the central room with concrete pillars. The renovation also brings back the Fatimid era mosaics and calligraphy on the interior arches that were previously covered by a layer of upholstery. The arches were decorated with green and gold gypsum and the wooden base beams were replaced with copper. A quarter of the stained glass windows were also carefully updated in order to preserve the original Abbasid and Fatimid designs. Great damage had been done by the earthquakes of 1927 and 1937, but the mosque was repaired again in 1938 and 1942. Five. Israel conflict in the 1980s. Ben Shoshan and Yehuda Etzion, both members of the underground group Gush Immunum, plotted to blow up Al Jami, Al Aqsa, and the Dome of the Rock. Etzion argued that blowing up the two buildings would cause Israel's spiritual awakening and solve all the problems of the Jewish people. They also hoped that the Third Temple in Jerusalem could be built on the site. Their plan failed because the police first found out. On January 15, 1988, during the First Intifada, Israeli troops fired rubber bullets and tear gas at demonstrators outside the mosque, injuring 40 worshippers. On October 8, 1990, in a riot 22 Palestinians were killed and more than 100 injured because of the Israeli border police crackdown. The unrest was sparked by an announcement by the Temple Faithful Movement, an Orthodox Jewish group, 
which stated that they would lay the groundwork for the construction of the third temple. Six. Brief history Al-Aqsa Mosque became the Mecca of the early generations of Muslims, until 17 months after the Hydra until it was transferred to the Kaaba of the Grand Mosque. Meanwhile, according to Jewish belief, the place that is now the Al-Aqsa Mosque is believed to be the place where the temple was built in the past. Al-Aqsa Mosque also has close links with the prophets and figures of the children of Israel who are also sanctified and respected in all three religions. The second mosque in the world Al-Aqsa Mosque is the second mosque built in the world as the Hadith of Abu Dhar narrated by Al-Bukhari and Muslims said, I ask, O Messenger of Allah, which mosque was first built? He replied, Masjid al-Haram. I asked again, then where mosque? He replied, then Masjid al-Aqsa. I asked again, what is the distance development between the two? He replied, 40 years, narrated by al-Bukhari and Muslim. Mosque Charm The charm of al-Aqsa Mosque lies in the architectural design that combines traditional elements with a little modern touch. This mosque has seven aisles supported by curved pillars in a hypostyle nave style, and is equipped with several additional small spaces on the west and east sides. There are 121 stained glass windows from the Abbasid and Fatimid eras that stand firmly to this day. Most of the Majid al-Aqsa rooms are dominated by white marble with a red carpet that looks elegant. The dome of the mosque was once made of stone which was built directly by Abdul Malik bin Marwan. But now it has been replaced by a ZH Sar here with the latest design, namely wood plated with a layer of tin enamel. The interior of the dome is painted to follow the typical 14th century decor. Isra Miraj. Stopover place Isra Miraj according to what is in the Quran Surah Al Isra, the first verse, is a miracle from Allah and the greatest event in human history when the Prophet was met directly with the Creator. The Prophet was accompanied by the angel Gabriel by riding a Barak, departing from the Grand Mosque to the Aqsa Mosque. In the Al-Aqsa area, the Barak passes through the west wall of the Al-Aqsa Mosque. To then go to Sidratul Muntaha, meet Allah SWT. Al-Aqsa Mosque is a place where Allah's blessings have been greatly increased, which is meant by being blessed because the Al-Aqsa Mosque area is the place where the Prophet was sent. God gave the soil fertility, so that it produces various plants and fruits, as well as the minerals contained in it. Also blessed is his livelihood, staple food, and agricultural products, including many plants, rivers and endless fertility. That's six brief history of Al-Aqsa Mosque. Hope it's useful. Thank you.